We all have 24 hours in a single day and I know that sounds obvious but why is it that some people just get more things done? Well, one key time management skill that I'm going to teach you in this video that you can implement for studying and even your personal life, yeah? It's called Parkinson's Law. When it comes to studying in libraries or at home, we tend to just tell ourselves to get what it is we gotta get done done and we don't often think about how long a task should take and rather just revise until it all just sinks in. This is actually really ineffective because <laughs> speaking from experience, working hours on end and not accomplishing anything just becomes very very discouraging and as a consequence I tend to procrastinate more, I leave things last minute and that work-life balance becomes unbalanced. With Parkinson's law I'm able to get more things done in less the amount of time and I'm not worried about working 24 7. So what is Parkinson's law? Well the formal definition is that work expands the time available for its completion but the way I remember it is that work expands the time you allocate to it. So what does this mean? Well believe it or not you've actually experienced those definitions. Think about this have you ever had a summer exam? Yeah where you had, you knew you had a year to prepare but you decided to only revise the last week or day before the exam. Have you ever had a 12 month long coursework but then within the last month or so you decided to work intensely for it? You can relate right? Even having so much time on your hands we decide to leave things last minute to the point where we're like ah, we, I, I guess I should get the work done now. That's Parkinson's law. Work expands the time you allocate to it. How did I use Parkinson's law throughout my time at university? Well, the general rule for retaining information easily or like studying in general is that the more effort you put into recording a piece of information, the more you will retain it. So when it comes to studying, I always use the Pomodoro technique and I used self-imposed deadlines. Let me give you an example. So let's say I wanted to review a lecture that I watched live that day. Afterwards, I'd tell myself, okay, Aldrich, I'm gonna review this lecture for 45 minutes and try my best to understand this. I wanna understand this concept, this title, this process, okay? But over time, I tried challenging myself with other lectures off. Can I do this in 40 minutes instead? 35 minutes instead, 30 minutes, 25 minutes instead. Usually, but not always, it depends on the complexity of the content. I would be able to get what it is I wanted to get done in this new shorter period of time and all I did was tell myself I had less time to do it. Like, that's mad. And imagine if you did this every day, every week for the whole semester, the amount of time you save is is mind blowing and ultimately it leaves you with a lot of spare time to do whatever it is you want to do you want to do gaming yeah do you want to learn a skill do you want to go to the gym do you want to go to like a society event you can literally have time to do whatever it is you want to do and with that said consider liking the video or even subscribing because it helps promote this video to other people who want to save time studying as well and it also promotes the channel which I really do appreciate. Now, how can you implement this in your own lives? Well, the next time you're revising or studying or whatever, when you tell yourself to, you can do it in one hour's time, try experiment and challenge yourself to do it in 50 minutes time, then 40, 30, then even 10 minutes time. The key word there is to experiment because all workloads and the complexity of the work can vary. So to summarize, don't work harder, work smarter. And one of the ways you can do that is to apply Parkinson's law and to practice this important time management skill. Over time, you'll gain more experience and you'll know in your heart how long a task should actually take. For my degree, especially in final year, I found that 45 minutes was the sweet spot and it's also the interval of my Pomodoro sessions for my study with me videos. Remember Parkinson's law. Bonus tip if you're actually someone who's going to do this, right? Make sure you take breaks and that you are immersed in your breaks because you will reduce the likelihood of burnout. Also, don't beat yourself up if you don't manage to get what it is you want to get done in a certain time frame. Like I said in the video, experiment and move on. Learn from your mistakes, yeah? And just keep falling forward. I hope you enjoyed the video and yeah, I'll see you next Monday. Safe.